Do you want to move all your data from one phone to another without spending hours waiting? Or maybe you want your WhatsApp chats, photos, and files to look exactly the same on your new device. Here's Mobile Trends, and I'll be explaining to you its features on this video, so stay tuned. Mobile Trans is an all-in-one phone data transfer and backup solution available for both computers and mobile devices. It supports up to 10 types of data from contacts and messages to photos, videos, music, and even entire apps. And the best part? You don't need to format your device, so your data stays safe and a touch during the process. Now to download the software, you must click on the link on description or click on the download through their website. And after that, the Exe application will be installed and just install the file. And this is how the application looks like on your computer. As you can see, you can use it to transfer WhatsApp files or WhatsApp conversations. Or you can also use it for WhatsApp Business, Line, Viber, and Kiki more than any other transfer app right now. It also works for phone-to-phone -phone transfers, phone-to-PC backups, and even app-to-app -app data migration. Again, it supports up to 10 types of data which can be shown on your screens. So here's the app backups and restore, or you can also use the iTunes restore. There's also this additional feature wherein you can convert HEAC photos to JPG format, especially for those computers that doesn't have or doesn't support the HEIC format of the iPhone photos. This time, I'll be transferring my WhatsApp data from my Vivo device to my iPhone. First, I need to connect both devices, the Vivo phone and the iPhone, to my desktop using a USB cable. But before the devices can successfully connect, the Android phone needs to be adjusted. You'll need to turn on developer options so that the desktop can read all the files on your phone. A pop-up will appear to guide you but I'll show you the step-by-step -step process how to enable developer options on your Android device. So go to your settings, go to your about phone, go to your software information, click on the build number 7 times or a couple times, until you reach the developer options so as you can see there's a text popping up showing that you've reached the developer options or the developer mode after that go to your developer options by searching it manually on your settings search bar so here let's open and scroll down until you see the usb debugging once you see it turn it on so that the computer would allow it to read all the files, especially your WhatsApp files. And there, as you can see, our phone, the Vivo Y18, is already read and successfully connected to the mobile trans application. Also, you have to connect your Apple phone or your iPhone device. As you can see, I'm doing it right now and it's still connecting. Wait until it becomes a success. And this time, you can now transfer the files from your Android WhatsApp data to the iPhone. So you may check or take the files, photos, videos, audios, and other documents that you want to transfer from Android to your iOS WhatsApp. After checking or finalizing the data, click on Start. Now the transfer process has started. On the screen, you can see a detailed description of each step. Along the way, pop-up instructions will appear guiding us on what actions to take on our phones. For example, here we are asked to turn on end-to-end -end encrypted backup on WhatsApp. So open your Vivo device, go to your WhatsApp, go to settings, find the chat settings, Scroll down until you see the chats backup, and as you can see, there is an end to end encrypted backup. Go to that one, click on turn on, select use 64 digit encryption key instead. Make sure to take note of this encryption keys and click on continue. And then the messages from your Android WhatsApp will be backed up to your account.
So just wait for this process to finish. And after that, you can go back to your desktop. So as you can see, the percentage increases as we follow the steps required on the process. Now we have to back up data on the target device. So there will be a pop-up guide on what you should do on your phone. However, it wasn't recorded on my screen recorder. This time, open your iPhone and open your WhatsApp application. This time, you have to sign in or log in to the account that you are using on this iPhone device. By the way, you can easily log in through receiving a code on your Android phone through the WhatsApp application. So here we have successfully logged into our iPhone WhatsApp app. This time we are asked to turn off the end-to-end -end encrypted backup on this iPhone. So you have to go to your settings, go to chats, make sure that the end-to-end -end backup encryption is turned off. Once you've successfully turned it off, the process will now move on to its next step, the generation of the restoration of data. During this part, you will also be asked to turn off the Find My iPhone feature. Don't worry, this is only temporary and you can still turn it on after the data has been transferred to your iPhone device. After that, you can now proceed with restoring your data. Keep in mind this step may take some time since all of your WhatsApp data from the Android device is being transferred to your iPhone. Once completed, you'll see all your WhatsApp data successfully restored on your iPhone. So whether you're moving files from your phone to your PC, restoring them to your iPhone, or even syncing your desktop or laptop, Mobile Trends keeps everything fast, safe, and effortless. Download it now using the link in the description and make your next transfer stress-free.